So as this is the last session for this unit, we are discussing assessments. And uh, from content tab, you click, it will display different sections. We will go to assessment section, and this will uh, display some instructions. You need to read these instructions. They are very important. and um, if you need some help with the assessment, uh, after all, most of our assessments are open book. So, um, assessment task one here, uh, first attempt, and then second attempt. In this unit, uh, we have two assessments. So, the task one is a written one. The assessment task two is a quiz. Online quiz, we will do this one. Uh, next week uh, so a few questions there and you need to do that online yourself um, for the assessment task one when you click here it will give you instructions these are mandatory instructions you need to read them go through them then there are three files here. Uh, the first file, this is the main one, which is a Word file. The three of them are Word files. So the, um, this file is the assessment task uh, one written. And you will download this one to your machine and start answering the questions there. Uh, then we have the marking criteria, what we need exactly from you. And on what basis we assess uh, your answers. And we have here a template. It's a copy, copyright privacy uh, template. So I have downloaded the three files here. Once you click, it will be downloaded to your machine. So first one, assessment task. Uh, it's written, so assessment task one written. And just wanna make sure can see my screen good so here um, in the beginning you will put your student name here student number and um, the assessment name policies documents so we are creating policies here and this is the unit code with the name you will uh, put the date here when submit you submit the, your assessment assessor name you will put my name here then student signature in the student signature if you have scanner you can scan your signature then you insert the scanned photo here or you can take a photo with your phone and insert it here if you can't do either just put your name there then you save the file and submit with the other files with the template. So um, here, um, an instruction to student, and these are the points we are discussing. So um, it's individually. You need to complete this file yourself. In other units, you, you will you will find that uh, you can work in a team or a group. So it's a good idea to uh, follow. The instructions of course so here you will contribute writing workplace policies policies in uh, organizational copyright privacy and ethics uh, for a business in an ICT context from IT point of view uh, you will use a template assessment criteria uh, so when I assess your assessment sorry, your answers to the assessment. Um, I will assess based on participating writing, workplace policies, you show understanding of copyright and privacy law, uh, you show understanding in ethical standards, you demonstrate sensitive of critical information to a concise policy, demonstrate methods of obtaining useful feedback on policies. Uh, so, um, it's an open book, which means you can search internet, you can refer also to the material we provided, learning guide or other materials. 
but please make sure you don't copy and paste. You can discuss, you can read, you can refer to something, then you read it very well, then you express your understanding in your own words. Here they are mentioning the number of attempts. I have mentioned that you have two attempts. Then for a third attempt, we need to get a special permission for you. Uh, during the time of this assessment, uh, I'm happy to provide any kind of support. I can go through whatever topic you want. So we can go through these topics together again, if you want any topic. Um, you have um, eight weeks from today to finish this assessment. Eight weeks. This is the uh, average. I'm just giving you the standard average, but exact date will be a little bit different, like two, three days between uh, each individual because of the date you are enrolled in. But usually we give 12 weeks for the whole uh, process, for the whole unit. So two weeks for delivery and then eight weeks for you to submit. Then I need two weeks for second attempt, marking, grading, giving you feedback. So this is the total of 12 weeks which means at the end of the term. Okay, so again, the, the, the best way to uh, finish your assessment and submit your assessment is trying to finish that in the coming two weeks because you still remember the content, you still have the discussions, uh, you're still remembering them, so fresh, uh, content so you can acknowledge so it's better to do that during the coming two weeks and uh, attend of course the classes for the other units then you work on the assessment after you finish the delivery okay um, submission details you will use the template which is, co which is called privacy copyright and ethics policies this is the template you have seen. Um, then you will create uh, three policies, create uh, 10 questions, then uh, you save the document using your name and policies, you submit uh, in connect and uh, if you have more than one file, put everything in a folder, then zip this folder and submit. Um, so you work here, the first thing, instruction to students. So you work for a medium IT company. There is a typo there, it's fine. So you have been asked to contribute to the creation of three policy documents that will ensure staff handle personal information in a confidential and professional manner, um, understand the copyright requirements in the workplace, maintain professional and ethical conduct in the workplace. So um, you can research and review the current legislation, for example, federal acts relevant to the Australian IT professional body standards like ACS, um, policies, procedures, writing theory, as well, as well as links from class and create one policy for privacy, second policy for copyright and third policy for ethics. The links are included in the uh, learning guide and also in the reference page at, near the end of the learning guide. Part B, the second part, you are to create a survey with a set of at least 10 questions. Why? To obtain feedback from staff on the privacy and ethics policies. So each policy should be no more than two pages in length and it should be written in plain, simple English. It is not a report, 
and should not be formatted like one. You will use a template. You can research other organization, guidance, whatever, like um, SANS organization can search different places. You can try TIFF itself, ACS, of course. Uh, think about other uh, big computer companies and organizations like Microsoft, Cisco, uh, Dell, for example. Um, we don't copy and paste at all, because if you did something like that, plagiarism system will discover that and create a flag. The policy development, so you will go to the template and you will find red text and some text in angle brackets. So um, these are instructions it should be and should be removed, formatted before submission. Um, you need to identify the act, legislation or industry code that governs your policy. Detail the conduct of staff in relation to each policy. For example, state what is acceptable and or lawful. State what is unacceptable and or unlawful. Describe any procedures or processes that must be completed. Um, each policy document must include the stated minimum number of statements on expected conduct actions by staff in relation to the policy. Use easy to understand English, as we discussed, uh, to describe how, how each aspect of the policy relates to the work your staff will be undertaking with, where appropriate, and example. So, examples also. Um, number one, the privacy policy. So it should address how the company will manage the collection, access, use, storage, and security of personal information of both staff and clients. You should refer to the Australian privacy principles for guidance on what areas are to be included in this policy, but some of the areas that should be addressed include statements that the company will not do the following unless consent from the client has been received, collect information that is not directly related to the company, collect sensitive information, disclose or give out personal information to overseas organizations. <clears throat> A statement on how the company will ensure that the personal information kept uh, is accurate and up to date and protected from misuse or accidental disclosure. Give clients access to their information within a reasonable period of time. Details on ensuring and maintaining the integrity, confidentiality, security, and availability of information that is collected and how personal information will be kept safe and secure from unauthorized access, modification or disclosure, misuse, and loss. Areas to cover here, preventing unauthorized access, data accuracy, appropriate collection, storage, and usage of information. So this will include uh, details such as describe a minimum of four features of server operating system that can implement restrictions, keeping hard copy files in properly secured cabinets, allowing staff to access personal information on a need to know basis only, regularly monitoring information handling practices to ensure they are secure, password protection, backups, off-site storage, encryption, firewalls, cookie removers, antivirus scanners. Checking that all personal information has been removed from electronic devices before they are sold or destroyed. For the old devices, when we are upgrading or replacing all the computers or servers or storage uh, medium. Deleting out of date customer records and how this will be done. For example, shred bulb or destroy paper records, dispose of files in security bins, delete electronic records or files securely so that they can't be retrieved. So that was the first policy. Second one, copyright policy. 
So this policy should deal with copyright issues within an IT environment. You should refer to the relevant sections of the act and the fact sheets on the Australian Copyright Council website for guidance on what areas are to be included in this policy, but some of the areas that should be addressed include copyright issues relating to the copying, backup, and personal use of computer software and programs, a statement on who owns any material created by staff. This should include websites, graphics, documents, software programs, etc. We have mentioned many, many examples about that. Downloading, uploading of images, address both personal and professional use and consider all mediums, for example, emails, internet, social media websites. Specific details on copyright issues relating to the use of images and other material from the internet, downloading, copying, distributing, detail what stuff must do before using material from the internet. So that is the details of the second policy you need to create. Third one, code of ethics. So it should provide a set of guidelines to staff on appropriate and expected behavior within the workplace and acceptable, non-acceptable ethical behavior of staff within the workplace and towards other staff and clients. You should refer to the relevant industry code of ethics, but at, at a minimum, your policy should cover dealing with clients, professionalism, competence, diligence, honesty, professional development, integrity, respect, WHS aspects, which is uh, work health and safety. So this policy must also include a review and the grievance procedure that outlines the steps an employee should follow if they need to report an ethical issue or grievance in the workplace, you should refer to an unethical issue. Uh, you should refer to connect, for examples, and the steps involved in writing a procedure. So three policies here. Then feedback. So you will create, in part B, you will create and design a 10 question survey about feedback on your policies. So you could use um, this survey to obtain, or these questions to obtain feedback from your staff and other stakeholders also clients, for example, on the privacy policy and the code of ethics. So on these two. This could be actioned as an interview or a survey, include how frequently you will distribute the feedback for constant improvement, select question types that are appropriate to the question and that will give you the most meaningful feedback data for improvement of the policies. These questions must cover application of the privacy policy and code of ethics, and that they are applied effectively, the implementation and distribution of the policy, accessibility to the policy, wording and ease of understanding of the policy, appropriateness and relevance to staff and the workplace in general, if ethical issues are being dealt with consistently and appropriately, ethical or unethical or challenges. So this is the end of, the, of that assessment. Uh, I'll show you the um, marking criteria. So um, you need to also fill that and submit. Then I will fill this part. So um, it will explain to you the criteria we are assessing you, successful, unsuccessful. Uh, so um, followed submission instructions, formatted appropriately, policy document to not report, made no spelling or grammar errors, then privacy, stated the following policy document details. So you need to uh, state that. So this is about the privacy, the second part about copyright, and the third part about code of ethics, then feedback on your uh, policies, 
the 10 questions. Then frequency of feedback identified. We will get this feedback every six months, every year, every month maybe. So this is the second document, the marking criteria. You don't need to do anything just here in the marking criteria, fill the data you know here and just read these items. You consider uh, these items as a checklist for you. So you make sure you are answering that, then I will take the boxes for you. Good, the template, let me minimize that. Um, privacy, copyright and ethics policy. So um, this is the template. So uh, five pages, you notice the red text will be replaced. So background, purpose, policy statement, you need to put that here. Um, distribution, copyright policy, current, background, um, purpose, copyright statement, and distribution, how we will distribute that. Ethics policy, so here with the ethics statements. Review and grievance procedure, distribution, policy feedback, so the 10 questions will be here. So um, everything uh, will be answered then in a folder, zip this folder and submit in uh, connect. If you don't know how to create a policy, I mean, you forgot what we were discussing in the past weeks, so easily refer to the material, search online for templates, and you will find heaps and heaps of information in the materials, links provided, and also in the other videos we have seen. Okay, I will stop the recording now.